Want to save hours on your UX process and design products that people actually love? In this video, I'm going to break down all my favorite UX tools that will help you streamline your workflow, supercharge your research, and help deliver user-friendly, accessible products. Trust me, this is one you don't want to miss. So we're starting with the obvious one, Figma. Figma continues to be the ultimate tool for collaboration. I mean, with the real-time updates, team libraries, and new features such as variable fonts and colors, as well as prototyping and development handover. If you're not on Figma yet, then this is your sign to give it a go. It's free to use. Well, it's free to use for a little while, but yeah, extremely important to use Figma and it's probably one of the most industry standard tools at the moment. Don't know if someone's gonna hit it off top of the shelf at some point, but right now, Figma is the way to go. You'll be able to do all your designing, gain your feedback and handover all in one place. And while we're on the topic of Figma, let's head over to FigJam. Now FigJam is Figma's whiteboarding tool. It is a direct competitor of Miro. And again, Miro, I love you, but just to kick this out there, if you're gonna use Figma, then you may as well just use FigJam as well, just to save yourself some of that time and effort to switch in between different tools. It's the perfect place for brainstorming, workshops, Anything to do with post-it notes that you don't actually want to do on actual post-it notes, you can do it on the screen. It helps you map really quick user flows, put in some wireframes, and allows you to communicate with stakeholders. FigJam lets us get our ideas out in a really low stake way. Plus, it's fun to have, which is always a bonus. Let's jump into user research tool, Listener. I have done a video specifically on Listener, and you can check that out here. But Listener is a great tool for user research, and it offers so many different types of researching. And it's free to set up, but if you do want to recruit participants using their pool, then it's all done by credit, so you can see how much you're willing to spend and keep an eye on that budget. And it's really great for clients because they'll just spit out a report for you. The great thing about Listener is that it highlights key themes so you don't have to spend hours digging through data in order to put a report together to hand over to your stakeholders. It's really easy to understand and it's all in one place. Next up we have Hotjar. Hotjar is a really cool tool that allows you to check out some analytics and capture data on websites such as heat maps and records click sessions so you can see how long somebody spent on a website and track their journey throughout the whole process. It's a really good tool, it's free to set up, but it gives super useful insights. So again, that's another analytic tool I highly recommend you use so you can get some more information on your users. And finally, we have Notion. Now, Notion is not a strictly UX tool, but it's a great tool to keep all your documentation in one place. You can keep all your notes in one place. You can put all your user research in one place. And it, again, it's free to set up. So I'm a huge fan of anything which is free, especially when you're starting off in your career. But yeah, highly recommend Notion. It allows you to do data repositories and so much stuff that you can do on it for free. So yeah, I highly recommend you check out Notion if you haven't done so already. It's a great place to keep all your research and all your notes and anything which you need digital all in one place. So there you have it. They are my top UX tools that I genuinely really love and think everyone can benefit from using. These tools that I've covered cover everything from design to development handoff to documentation to user research. It's all there. So let me know in the comments which tool you're most excited for to use or let me know some tools that I've missed out and some things that I will benefit from because you know we're all about learning in this community. If you have any faves then don't forget to mention down in the comment section. If you did like this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe. I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions over on my super peer and I also have a newsletter called Handover where I send out UX related content every single month. So again if that's something you get interested in there's a link in the description below. And that's it for this one. Until next time. Bye!